All right, is this the best value in 1911s? I posted that question up in the you know, community section on my page. Uh, I think the answer is yes, uh, and I'm here to tell you guys why. So this is a uh, original Staccato P from 2020. It's the 4.45 inch model. Uh, and you know, I have always thought this pistol was a great value. And the reason I'm making this video now is because I just realized that Staccato is no longer selling uh, a irons only gun and they seem to have like increased their prices a little bit so i've always recommended the Sakato p i was like yeah man grab the p you know mill it for irons with whatever you want later on but, like it's a great gun like it isn't too expensive i started to get these looks like dude you're, you're crazy or you know obviously you have more money than me i'm kind of always like a little puzzled and then i realized how much the price has increased so when i bought this gun uh, from Sakato, I used one of their discount programs, right? You can probably guess which one. Uh, this pistol came with six magazines, right? So it came with four uh, of these 20 rounders, these 140 millimeters, uh, and these two, I guess, 126 millimeters that hold 17 rounds. So do the math on what those cost. And then it also came with the case, which they all come with the case, but, you know, this is actually a pretty, it's a pretty nice case. You know, it has the slots, it has all the little pouches in it. You know, like this is not a, a inexpensive case. I'm sure we can figure out what the case costs. So I got the gun, six mags, and the case, and I think it only cost me $1,800. So do the math on that one, right? Like what are you actually paying for the gun when you subtract all the other stuff? And now like compare this gun to some other, you know, quality, you know, high-end or like duty grade uh, 1911, 2011s. I think for the money, this gun, A, it costs less money, and B, it was a much better gun than any of the Springfield TRP series. Uh, and I would dare say that it probably doesn't have the fit of a Springfield professional, but I think this is a better shooting gun than a professional, and it has, you know, better modern features on it, you know, leaving all the 9mm, 45, double stack, single stack stuff aside, uh, this is just a, it's just a better shooting gun. I look at what this gun cost me compared to like a Dan Wesson, uh, compared to any of like the, the Colts, you know, especially the M45A1, which was not a good gun. Uh, and this was a much better shooting gun, a much less expensive gun, right? It's a better value. Uh, what did I do to this gun to change it, right? It's obviously is not a stock pistol. We'll kind of talk through, you know, the math here. Uh, I didn't really put that much more, more money into the gun to make it what I wanted. So I went with a Gen 1 grip. You know, I wanted to keep all my guns the same. So I got a Gen 1 grip. I had the Boresight's uh, Solutions texture applied to it. I had the Dawson Competition uh, magazine release. I put that in there. I didn't put the giant you know, paddle thing on there. I got a Gunsmith uh, blank trigger that dropped right in. And I got this old uh, STI Competition magwell, which is the exact same dimensions as a ALG Super Tactical Combat magwell. So ponder that one for a second. And then, you know, after... Selling the, the stock grip that it came with, the stock trigger, you know, all the internals are still the same, but all the, you know, I, I call quote unquote upgrades to this gun, they really were like the same cost as what I sold pieces off the gun, if that makes any sense. So I probably spent $1,800 on the gun out of the box. Maybe I spent another 100 bucks getting what I wanted. So still under $2,000, really good gun. You know, why do I think this gun was such a good uh, value for the money? You know, it's all bar stock parts. There's no MIM in this gun whatsoever. It's all nitrided. Uh, this is a, you know, a 10A performance uh, slide stop and slide release on it. You have ambi safeties on it that are great, right, on both sides. And nothing wrong with any of these parts. Uh, you have some really, you know, great cocking serrations on it. You had a very smartly designed toolless guide rod, you know, a good stainless steel barrel that's very accurate. Uh, the slide and the barrel are both serialized to the gun, right? You don't, you don't get that on your everyday gun. And then, you know, to me, huge thing uh, is the sights, right? So they went with a Berry Bomar style sight. I don't think that that is, you know, super expensive to do, but it is definitely more expensive to put that sight on a gun than the normal uh, Novak sights, which, hey, you guys can like them if you like them. To me, those are absolute garbage sites, uh, both from the shooter's like visual perspective and from the fact that 
uh, professionals zero their guns, and if you can't zero your gun, like I, I don't understand why we think that that's a good idea. So this gun, to me, was a great value, a great bargain, a great shooting gun. Uh, but now that you, you can only buy uh, the optics ready pistol at a higher price point, you know maybe the value isn't quite there when you only need to spend you know a few more hundred dollars and get something that's a, a little bit better. So I have a few thousand rounds through this gun, never had any issues with it. You know I'm keeping like the stock midweight spring, right? It came with multiple springs, and you know, most guns don't do that either. So I think. You know, to kind of wrap it all up, if you can find one of these, the Irons Only Staccato P, and you want a great shooting, you know, well-designed, you know, 9 mil 1911-ish gun, right, or 2011-style gun, I would buy this any day of the week over any of Springfield's guns, the Dan Wessons, the Colt guns, right? If you got to have a single-stack gun 45, right, obviously this is not the ticket. If you just kind of want to shoot that 1911 style gun, you know, you're going to have a much better pistol in a $2,000 and less iron sight Sakata P than you are buying uh, a $2,000 plus 1911 from somebody else. That's my opinion. Uh, I'm sticking to it, but I am curious to hear what you guys think. So in the comments, let me know uh, if you have a Sakata P, how's it been working for you, uh, what you think of Sakata ditching this Barry Bomar irons only model. Thanks.